because I know it takes a while to actually learn like every single chord and, and be repetitive with. But with this, What's good everybody, it's your boy RMC here back with another video. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play chords with one finger. And yes, it is possible. There's this plugin called Chord Trigger and I'll be showing you guys exactly how to use it. So next time you guys wanna make beats and the same chord progression or just pull up those chords, you can save it as a preset and just pull it up and you never have to worry about remembering those chords or learning. If you guys don't like learning, you guys don't have to worry about that anymore, which comes in hand if you wanna just make beats quick and just get them out there. So let's get to this video, enough talking, let's go. So the first thing uh, you wanna do is, you know, when you go up to Logic, you pull up a new sample, then we're gonna pull up a uh, chord trigger right here. I already have it pulled up. And you're gonna go to this. Uh, it's gonna take you to this window right here. So you wanna click on multi. And you wanna, if there's anything on here, you just wanna push clear individually. So the way you use it, the way uh, you wanna use it is, if you don't know your chords at all, like if you don't know any chords at all, then you want to go to Google and, you know, type in C chord or whatever, and then see what it is. Um, and then you can just copy and then, or just pull it up next to, uh, next to your, on, on your window. And then just, you know, in input the same exact uh, fingering that's on, you know, on that chord. Because I know it takes a while to actually learn like every single chord and, and be repetitive with but with this all you can do is for example you hit learn and then we're gonna we're gonna do a melody in the key of b minor so i'm gonna click b and then i'm just gonna drag after that i click i click learn again and then with one finger chord so you don't have to go like this you can just go like this see that and then we're gonna go to we're gonna hit a learn again a then the next chord is gonna be a major so we can do this click that and then just make it a major and just so that's going to do the chord progression we're going to play. Um, then the last one I want to do is G. So click on G, then and put the chords right here on the bottom, and then click learn again. And now we have ourselves a three chord progression. You see that you can just mess with it now? And if you want to save it, like I said earlier, you guys can save it. Just put save as, and then you save it as whatever you want, but I'm not going to save it. And then you, you can just pull it up whenever you want and it's going to be there. Let's make a melody now off of this. See how you guys can use it to your advantage. So let's do it at 142. Let's just go right, right here.
to choose like a, this really cool piano. I always use Arturia V2. melody going I think I'm gonna just leave it with those three let's just chop this one up let's bring out the scissors ti bam Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, and I don't know what you're waiting for, man, hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be making way more of these videos and you don't want to miss them. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I got thick skin, so you can comment whatever you want. Don't even worry about me. But till next time, see you later. Peace.